Oh, oh folks, I'm glad you stuck around for this one. The 138, last of all, but certainly not least. So, three-time Ohio State champion Dylan D'Amelio stepping on the mat. He's going to be taking on two-time Ohio State placer, Blake Saito, Saito of Perrysburg. So our marquee matchup of the night, we saved the best for last. Saito, two-time state placer for Full Intention Liberty. Saito, D'Amelio, pit final, here we go. D'Amelio in the black and maroon singlet. D'Amelio will be green and red on the scoreboard. Saito will be Red and Dylan D'Amelio, Fargo All-American, Fargo champ, Super 32 champ. Only thing that he has not won. He was fifth in the world, lost his bronze medal match, he has, and he never won the Ironman, fourth in the Ironman this year. D'Amelio is good at wrestling. And our finals brought to you by Defense Soap, Defense Soap, Defense that you built, and Barbarian Apparel. Shout out to Josh Chaspi and Guy Seiko, the best in the biz, in hygiene and gear. Here we go, marquee match of the night. 138 scoreless here, 40 seconds in. D'Amelio suffered losses at Medina this year and two at Ironman. Who's beating this guy? Gonna be a Buckeye next year. There is one way, then come back the other. Nothing yet to take on D'Amelio. And folks, I'm just gonna put it out there right now. You don't want D'Amelio rolling on you. You don't want him to start doing this stuff. Decatur kid. He lost to Decatur, and then he lost to El Shahar of Florida Heritage. I was doing the match, and he lost. It was bizarre. He dominated the whole match and got taken out with a second left. It was Iron Man. I, I couldn't believe it. And then Van S won the weight. Van S beat his future teammate in the semis, Decatur. As he does his work like work, workman like performance thing here. You're looking at future Buckeye, Dylan D'Amelio, the core. You want to say the, the center of the Genoa championship. He is the guy. The only champ for him last year is they won their school's first uh, team state championship. He's looking to be their sixth champ tonight. Are you kidding me? It's good. Uh, Saito out. 2 1 bout. 25 seconds remains. If you're Saito, you can steal a takedown here. You want to do that. Greatly change the reflection of the neck. And if you look, this is how D'Amelio has always wrestled. He pushes you to the edge. He frustrates people with head hands. Always coming at you, moving his feet, move his hands, move. If you look, he doesn't stop. And if you're Tom Ryan, you got to like the depth you're adding with this guy. And, uh, the thing I said to him when I talked to him earlier was this is the most amount of matches he's ever lost in a season. He's lost three matches in his first three years of high school. He's lost three this year. That's amazing. And uh, talking to my brother, he, he hasn't gotten worse. <laughs> he's gotten better. So um, Saito on top here from one Tangy Liberty where he was pushed by Mark Marinelli. And now they've got two of the best guys in the country. If if Saito is still at Liberty, they're a threat for a trophy. Uh, without him, probably not gonna get it done in Columbus, but I mean they got Karshala, Connor Brady, they got a squad. Mark Marinelli's done an amazing job. You see did an amazing job with Saito. And Saito is now under the tutelage of Scotty Burnett. And there's gonna be a reversal, standing reversal for D'Amelio as he puts him down on the mat and 4-1 lead. If you're Saito, you gotta start, you gotta get this escape like quick, fast, and in a hurry, man. And it looked like he might have worked his back a little bit. And we're gonna give him a restart here as D'Amelio. The motor's running. The motor is running on this dude. Oh my gosh, he's ready to go. He wants, he wants a title here. He was knocked off by Boffman of Wadsworth in the Matina Finals in a great final brought to you by Mark 
Neiman and inside the circle and he goes. Picks him up, catches a down leg Turk. Now he's got some near fall swipes. Emilio putting it on Saito now, and it is getting real. He's got at least two near fall, holding three actually, and he will run his lead to seven to one. Oh my goodness, mercy! We're on the edge. We're gonna be off the mat. We're gonna be yeah, the motor's running. And this is the, the, this is not, you don't want to be here. Because it will not end up 7-1. Uh, this guy does not shut it down. He actually opens it wide open. He'll wrestle conservatively until he pounds you into fodder. And then after he pounds you into fodder, usually what happens is it's uh, blood in the water, I guess is what I would say. And Saito is kind of feeling that heat right now. Lake Saito, as I said, a state placer for coach Mark Marinelli at Blue Tension Liberty. Now he goes Turk again. The Turks are just, they're on point tonight. Yeah, the, the motor's running for this guy. He's ready to go. Like I said, you know, three losses. That's what he had his whole high school career going into his senior year. You know how this guy lives, you know the type of people they are. He, he's not out doing bad stuff. Doing out stuff that makes you better. Do, do the right things. And uh, trust me, he's gotten better. As, as uh, this Super 32 title would show you with 12 seconds remaining as he dominates Blake Saito of Harrisburg. 7 to 1. Saito, formerly of Olin Tangi Liberty. And that will do it for the second 7 1 lead choice. Saito. Saito gonna go neutral. He has to get a takedown. No takedown and probably see a D'Amelio major decision. And this has been almost like a kind of a little Perrysburg to know a dual meet tonight. So D'Amelio. 7-1 lead on Division 1, two-time Division 1 state place of Blake Saito. Saito of Perrysburg. Saito fires off a shot, counter shot there to a head inside single leg now to a trip to take down 9 1. As I said, that major decision is there. Ooh, I like how I just picked that foot up, hooked it. Just the little, all the little right stuff, man. This guy just does it. Emilio does it. Now he's looking maybe claw lift and trips him back down. Saito rolls. We're going to be off the mat. We're going to restart here at 112. So. Once again, as I said, Emilio rolls, he rolls. It gets worse usually, not better. Took some tough losses at the Iron Man. Future teammate, Jacob Decatur. Sorry, Jordan Decatur. Jacob was twin. Beat him for third and fourth. Kashahar beat him in the semis in a bizarre match. Go back and watch that one. And explain to me how D'Amelio loses that match. Did you see that match? Oh my god. Go watch it if you want to be really frustrated. Kashahar did everything he needed to though. You know, hung around, scored it with one second left, like you know. Credit to him, right? Kind of played off of Dylan's uh, over aggressiveness. But in the Big Ten you gotta be aggressive and uh, Dylan D'Amelio will figure that out. Is that the last second takedown? It's crazy. It's the second left. Kelsey Hart from Florida Heritage. Real powerhouse. No, I don't think so. No, 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 no. Kelsey Hart, I think, was honorable mention, maybe. He wouldn't even rank. It was out of, out of nowhere. Number one ranked guy in the country was Decatur, who lost. He lost to and Van Ness, who's the number one guy in the country at seven weights. Two weights, actually, literally, he could be the number one guy. He's playing impressive. D'Amelio, 30 seconds away from another pit title. Saito got to try and get up and negate that major decision. He's battling. That far arm. He's trying to put the arm on the back. Saito, you know what? Saito's still battling, man. I like it. 
And he keeps catching the turk. And with 10 seconds left, he's trying to get more near fall. You gotta like that. Well, Coach Ryan in the Buckeyes got to like to get out of this guy. Total package, great student. Good human being, great human being. Knocks off Saito, 9-1 here. And your marquee matchup ends tonight in Genoa. Rolls here. Hit the pit. And we're gonna do some boards. We're gonna go do some uh, interviews. Do the thing. Thanks for the time tonight. Thanks to uh, Defense Soap and my man, Josh Sesby, Barbarian Apparel. We will see you guys tomorrow here in the same gym.